I woke up, my wife told her, get the clothes, to go out here and throw it and pick it up. I went next door and kicked on the door and said, jump on, we gotta go, we gotta go back. So I went out and we threw the clothes in and I had my keys. I risked to put it in ignition and I was instantly over 20 miles in front of the airport. Wow. I never put them in the ignition. <laughs> then I thought there were two men there and they said, you can make it run. And we'll park the car and I thought, these are John Paul's friends. I thought them the keys. We grabbed our suitcase, we run right up the ramp, we didn't have to go through his security then. Went right on the plane, the plane door closed, we went. And we went to make it Georgia that day. Three days later, he was coming back, and John Paul said to me, and said, Oh, by the way, in Macon, we saw 16 deaf people get their hearing. All kind of sights and everything else. And there was all kind of ministry burden. And as we was flying back in to, to pick up my truck, John Paul said, Bob, I wonder what your friends did with your pickup. I said, I never saw them before. They were your friends. He said, I've never seen them either. <laughs> and I, said, I am too tired for this. My truck will be in the first stall and the keys will be under the visor. I went back to sleep. We landed, we got off, there my truck was, I went over to pull the visor down the keys from my hand. <laughs>